Today we're diving into the latest release of Express.js, version 5. After nearly a decade of waiting, it's finally here. Let's break down the main takeaways and what this means for your Node.js projects. Hi, my name is Alex. I'm a senior software engineer with years of experience in API development. My goal is to help you become a more skilled and proficient developer. First up, Express 5 focuses on simplifying the framework while boosting security and maintainability. Key changes include dropping support for old node versions, enhanced path matching, and introducing full promise support. Some of the breaking changes? Well, Express now only supports node 18 and higher, removes regular expression-based route matching to avoid security issues like a regular expression denial of service attacks, and updates how body parsers work. If you are migrating from v4, check the official migration guide for all the details. They've also added support for returned rejected promises in middleware, which means you can now handle errors more cleanly without writing additional cache blocks. Pretty neat. The team is already working on a roadmap for long-term support and future enhancements. If you are not ready to upgrade just yet, you can still wait for the stable latest release. Now that we've covered the changes, let's take a look at a few examples in the code. But before we do that, if you are enjoying this video so far, please like and subscribe to our channel to help YouTube recommend it to more viewers. I am in a Node.js project where I have a simple Express app scaffolded. I created the server in a server.mjs file. I also have Nodemon installed to automatically restart the Express server. Additionally, there is an API test.http file where I can make requests. Let's check the package.json file. As you can see, we don't have Express installed yet, so let's install it by running npm install Express. Express is installed now, but it's version 4. Let's go to npm page of Express package. Uh, version 4 still has the tag latest. To install version 5, we need to use uh, the next tag. The Express team explains that the long-term support plans will include when the release moves from next to latest. If you are uncomfortable with being on the cutting edge, it's advised to wait until the stable release is tagged as latest. We'll install Express 5 shortly, but first let's review Express 4. Let's go ahead and run npm run dev. Our Express server is running on port 3001. Now in the server.mgs file, let's look at the middleware. We have URL encoded with an extended option set to true or false. In Express 4, you need to specify it. If you remove it, you'll get a warning saying that body parser is deprecated and undefined extended. So we'll put extended to true back to avoid this warning. However, in Express 5, you don't need to set it. By default, it will be extended false. If you are wondering what extended option means, here's a quick breakdown. If you have extended false, it supports only simple key value pairs in URL encoded form. For example, if your request body is name equals Alex and age equals 30, the body will contain a simple object like name Alex and age 30. But with extended true, it can handle more complex nested data structures. So if the body contains user name Alex and user age 30, it will result in a nested object with user properties name and age. Now let's return to the server.mjs file where we have a basic hello world route. Switching to API uh, test.http, we can make a request and get a response which returns greeting hi. Next, let's simulate an error in async function by throwing a new error like oops. When we make a request again, the app crashes without responding. In Express 4, you have to use try catch block to handle this. We'll wrap the logic in try catch and pass the error to the next function so that the default Express error handler can handle it. After implementing this, the app will handle the error gracefully without crashing sending a proper error response. Next, 
let's talk about catch all routes. If we use catch all star in a route, it doesn't capture the route parameters in Express 4. But if we update the route to, let's say, catch all parts after the star and make a request, the server doesn't crash, but responds with an error that it can't get the route. Uh, there is not much you can do about it in Express 4. Let's move on and install Express 5 with npm install express at next. Now if we check package.json we can see Express version 5 is installed. Back in server.mjs we can remove extended true and the try catch block because it's no longer needed in Express 5. We can also uncomment the part that logs route parameters as Express 5 now handles those. Let's save the changes and run npm run dev. The express server is running. We'll go to API test.http and make a request. As you can see, the error is handled and the server doesn't crash anymore even without try catch. Now let's try using the catch all route. After sending a request, we get a response and the catch all parameters are visible. You can see both my route part and some other part from the URL which are captured with a catch all route in Express 5. Express 5 is a big milestone for the framework, keeping it modern and relevant for Node.js development. If you found this video helpful, check out the next part of our Node and Express.js tutorial where we will be using Express 5.